atheist.com. Welcome on in to tonight's telecast on SN Sports. Iowa losing 10 to 3 and it was a tough game on Saturday and leaving a lot of headaches with Hawkeye fans here because it was very much winnable last week and now they're put in a situation where there's a lot of questions, not a lot of answers right now. We'll find out how good this Hawkeye team is on Saturday night. So they face the Penn State Nittany Lions undefeated. They headed into the Kinnick Stadium. So last year... Okay. Um, where are we at now? So two years ago, they, the Lions came into Kinnick Stadium. And... It was... It came down to the wire. I wish I could show it to you. But due to copyright reasons, I cannot, and due to, you can find it yourself, um, as well. 2017, uh, Penn State, Iowa, last play of the game. I was there for that one. It was, it was kind of embarrassing how the game ended. Not gonna lie, uh, but... The Hawkeyes are right now number 17 in the country, and I think that is where they actually are in terms of their RPI and their uh, how good they actually are here. We're in week six. It matters how Iowa is playing towards the end of the season in November here. A lot of big games still left. Michigan was a tough, tough loss. But Nate Stanley has got to play better on the road. Iowa plays a, is playing a tough road schedule this year, right in the midst of it. They're 1-1 one one on the road. Point differential, minus 6 on the road. At home, they are way better than that. They, I mean, they've, they haven't played anybody at home. But I think this one's going to be a good one. This one's going to be quality. Two years ago, Trace McSorley and Saquon Barkley. This year, they don't have either of those players. They do have good players, though. Um, and they do have a good head coach in James Franklin. Last year, without Saquon, Iowa was... Iowa's defense actually eight on Penn State last year. But this year, Iowa coming off an emotional loss to Michigan. It's a lot different. Two years ago, it was the first Big Ten game. It was the cursed fourth game. This year, it's the cursed sixth game for Iowa. I actually don't know if it's that cursed. But it's it feels a lot like a fourth game. It is. It does feel like it's a little later in the year. But Iowa, one and one in Big Ten play. Seems like that happens every single year that Iowa is one and one in Big Ten play. Except for, of course, the year that they went 12-0. That was like three years ago now. They got a long way to go if they're going get, to get to Pasadena, California. But 
place has got to start is here against Penn State. Cannot afford to lose um, more than one more Big Ten game. Cannot afford to do that. They got to beat. If they want to win the West, they got to beat Wisconsin in Madison. But they got to take care of business in every other game. And uh, how they play against Michigan was very poor. I mean, that is as far east as Iowa has to go the entire season. But it doesn't matter. So Iowa playing their first three conference games against crossovers. So that means the last six games against Big Ten West opponents, games that really, really matter uh, in terms of trying to win the division. Okay. We're going to talk about Saturday night's game, where the Hawkeyes have to get better for Saturday's game, and it has to start with Nate Stanley making confident plays and sitting in there and making the throws. Taking critical sacks against Michigan. Plays that really cost them the game. Cannot afford to take a sack on second and third down. Cannot afford to put ball the ball in harm's way like he did uh, multiple times. And also... Got to be patient. Sometimes throwing the ball a little too quick, and it's and it's off the mark. So uh, Yeah. All righty, all righty, all righty. See you guys uh, Saturday for us in college football today, but until then, J Rod saying so long. Peace out. See you Saturday.